Hey Floss Tube, this is Kate the Queen of Starts. This is take three. I'm not fixing this again. <laughs> I cannot talk today. But I'm not stopping it again, so we're just going to go with what comes out. Anyway, it is Sunday, October 29th, still. And uh, I'm here with a Happy Mail video, not my regular stuff. I had placed a bid on eBay for a box lot of cross stitch books. I discovered after uh, I won the lot that there was an actual list of what was in it, but it was one of my random, I go on eBay once in a while and just see what kind of, see what's out there. And um, this was a big box lot and the there was a, one bidder on it. There were a few days left in the bidding. And I said, all right, I'll throw out, you know, just a low offer. It would be nice to have, but I really don't want to pay more than $20, which is what I bid. Well, that's what I paid for it. So with shipping, shipping was high because it was a really big box. Um, I paid $37 for 114 patterns and magazines. So very good deal. And went through, actually got two, but that's a different video for the second one. Um... Went through these yesterday with a friend who was visiting and sent her home with some that I had copies of or, uh, not copies, that sounded weird, um, magazines and charts that I already have. There were some of those in the box and so I sent her home with some of those and um, some things that I just, knowing I wouldn't stitch them. Um, so she was happy, I was happy, we're all happy. So this is one big box. So this whole video is just going to be this box that I got on eBay. So big lot of happy mail. Quite pleased with it. Very pleased with it. So first up, these are, are there four? Yeah, there's four charts here from Shiny Suns Cross Stitching. Uh, new to me full coverage company. Super sweet lady who owns it. Um, she's actually a friend of Nikki North. I'm going to botch Nikki's last name. Nikki from Trident Creations. They're friends. Super sweet. And um, they only do hardcover. They don't do hard copy. They don't do PDFs on their charts. Uh, so you do have to pay the shipping, which is fine. I did buy some and that'll be in my other regular stuff videos. But these four were in this big box lot. So we have Waiting Patiently. And what I like about these is this is a standard chart. And it is actually charted for 18 count. So it's a it's a it's still full coverage, but it's a you know reasonable size. So but yeah, it's shiny suns cross stitching.com. I highly recommend them. They are doing 50% off on Black Cat charts until Tuesday. And they're doing 50% off on holiday and winter charts. Not sure how long that one goes for. But I think average price is like $8 for a chart, $8.50. Anyway. Next up, we have Midnight Slumber. See whoever, whoever sold this box. Like to stitch cats. I like to stitch cats. Look at that. We have tenderness. And my favorite of the four, Charmer. This is my cat. Not the cat I have now, the cat I had years ago. He was a Maine Coon. His name was Fuzzy, and he was awesome. Coolest cat we've ever owned. So. That's fuzzy. I gotta stitch that. Well, I gotta stitch them all, but you know. In the 85 lifetimes I apparently seem to have. Okay, next up is a chart from True Colors. It's all aboard Noah's Ark. And we have three charts. We have the big one with all the animals. It says all aboard, but there's a rainbow, so I'm guessing that's after the flood. I don't know. Anyway, and then we have two smaller charts. In there. Nice so cute. 
guess I forgot to tell you to get a notebook and pen so you can write this stuff down if you see something. That's what I do when I watch Floss Tube. Then we have Elma Lynn's Childhood Revisited. Just super, super sweet charts in here. There's that one. There's some sweet children's charts. I like the kids going after the pies. And there's some teddy bears, some toys. So, very sweet book. Some of these, um, I'm, I'm definitely going to be t uh, sorting these a little tighter and doing some past the stash because I got this giant box. I'm not going to live long after stitch at all. So I want to pass on some of the goodness. I will be sorting out some of these. All right. Here's Care Bears, Frolic in the Flowers. The, this, these are the new Care Bears. Not sure about this one. Um, I'm old school. I like the old school Care Bears. So not sure about that one. But still super cute. Okay. Um, let me show you a couple more charts from there. So yeah, very sweet, very sweet, but yeah, I, I like the originals. All right, this is an apple a day. This is another one from True Colors, and it has just a bunch of apple charts. I love this one here with the quilted apples. Love that one. Like the apple a day. There's some little, some little apple charts too, but that one's definitely my favorite of the quilts. Kel Surprise, right? Anyway, this is uh, from Great Big Graphs, and it is Alphabet Zoo. So lots of different charted alphabets. I love, obviously, the zoo alphabet. I don't know what X is. I'm going to have to look up what X is. I'll, I know what all the other animals are. But there's just school materials, and there's flowers, and there's, you know, there's alphabets in here. This is a Borders chart. Borders Wanted 2, another True Colors chart. See, I don't do borders on things. Well, I do borders on things. But I, um, I do some borders on things. But I like these for bookmarks or smalls or anything like that. These are adorable. This is one of the Jeanette Cruz One-Nighters books. And it's 25 small magnets. So, hopefully you didn't see the back there. So, yeah, just some super cute little, little designs. I need that one. Take your pills. Never, as long as I've been taking them, you'd think I'd remember. This is not a democracy. I like the crown. I don't know if I'd stitch the words, but. Very cute. This is Bloom and Buddies, another uh, Jeanette Cruz, and it, it has three very pretty floral designs. I like that one. I have no idea what it is. Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce those flowers. All right, this is Threadbare Teddies. From Jeanette Cruz. Two really cute designs. I like the ones in front of the chalkboard. But I love this guy right here. With all of his patches. He is just a well-loved bear. So. This is Leisure Arts. Okay, these are by uh, Ursula Michael. Special bibs for special babies. This is probably one I'm going to... Pass the stash on. My, my babies are beyond the need for bibs. Not that I would ever stitch them a bib. Um, but, but these are adorable. They really are. Now this one. Uh, and There are charts a lot of times. I just like the charts to stitch the charts. Like this one. This is Little Monster Bibs. Um, from Leisure Arts. These I would stitch just by themselves because they are just too cute. 
I like this one. It took me a minute until I looked inside. I love you. I, I like that pink and green monster. I think these are just adorable. And I would stitch them just by themselves. Okay, this is another Leisure Arts booklet. Um, bears at their best. We have some ballerina bears. A couple of friend bears. A lot of detail, which is really nice. This one here on the back is my favorite. That's the one I think I would like to stitch. It says, of all the special people who have shared so much with me, you're the one who makes my days the best that, that they can be. I like that. I love the bears playing dress up. This is another baby baby one. Um, again, just lots of cutesy designs. Pushing her little baby stroller once upon a time. I like the once upon a time one. Um, I like this one on the back. That, that I would stitch, definitely. I just think that's adorable. Here's a Disney Pooh and Friends book. This is Pooh and Friends Spell It Out. So it's just the one chart. Well, it's got some little, some little um, designs on the back, but it's got uh, mainly just the alphabet and a place to chart your child's name. So I like that. This is from DKJ Originals. And it's three little charts. I think I would change the colors a little bit, make them a little brighter. But it, you know, it says just say snow. But I like them on the paper. I might use white paper instead. I mean, I, obviously it's white snow, but it is full coverage. So, I don't know. I like it, but I think I'm gonna change up the colors. All right, this is Country Cross Stitch, prized lilies. Just some super pretty lilies. Love the tiger lily. Love that. There's also a, a chart in here for white lily flower. I'm not sure why. I guess because it's named after a flower. But why not? You know. But I do like the tiger lily. Okay, This is a Jeanette Cruz Wedding Bears. So, very sweet. Just some super sweet bears. This one here in the corner is my favorite. I'll love you for many moons. I have the two bears there. And then I, I, I just thought this was too cute. So we have, I do, my friend had to point this out to me, the date you get married, and then I did, the date the baby was born. So I'd have to stitch this and then add I did again with Alex's, but... Yeah, love that. Now this one, this is an American School of Needlework book. But and it is a first steps in counted cross stitch. So I think I am a little beyond that. But, you know, you can always learn something. Because that's just, I love this inside. There are several pages of just some really good teaching tips on different things. So, it's like, okay worth a look um, and then there are some charts in here uh, this this is all that's in there just some simples which I like the carousel animals and I love this one here quilters helper so I'm gonna stitch those all right this is five fabulous flowers American School of Needlework Barbara Batts Batts B-A-A-T-Z. There are several by her in the box. So beautiful, beautiful pieces. I just love these. You know, I don't stitch all flowers, but certain ones just catch my eye. And these catch my eye. I just love the immense detail in them. So pretty. 
All right. This one is cottage cross stitch for pillows and it, it uh, which I don't do pillows, but it's interesting because it's not all of the designs there are very few cross stitches in it. Most of it is back stitch, French knots, very closer to embroidery. So, I do like the sleeping kitty. I think this one's going to be a past the stash one. Because it is very, very pretty. But I'm not sure. If I stitched any of them, it would be the kitty cat. But that's it. Mm. Alright, this is Donna Cooler. Uh, fl florals and cross stitch. Again, another... See, that one was in the other book. Um, but I love the sunflowers. And that one, that one was in the other book. So yeah, these must be, it's, it says Donna Cool. I wonder if, huh, anyway. Is Donna Cooler Barbara Bats, maybe? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know. But I love that right there with the birdhouse and the flowers. So, very pretty. These are wraparounds, which... You know again not something I would stitch but I like some of the designs so I think some of the designs may end up being stitched not as wraparounds but just as just as stitching I love this butterfly the uh, the autumn leaves there the hummingbirds so they're very pretty and I think they would just be they would be nice just by themselves this is Wildflower Garden, which is, let's see here, yeah, just very simple flowers with their names under them, but very, very pretty. Not sure I'd stitch these. This is still a potential past the stash, but it is pretty. All right, this, there's a lot from this one, too, the Needlecraft Shop. You know, the booklets have just a handful of charts in them, but very, very cute. These are Victorian silhouettes. Look at that. Just really neat. Love those. All right, this is Cross Stitch Sports. Um, the only one I would stitch, there's four in here. There's only one I would stitch, and I bet you can guess which one. Let's see, they're playing golf. They're playing croquet. They're uh, hunting, fox hunting, and fly fishing. Did you guess? Yes. Tim has just taken up fly fishing, so that's definitely the one to stitch. All right. This is, I'm going to bring you a little closer. This is Animal Kingdom and just has some beautiful designs in it. I love this one here with all the animals. Just really, really pretty. This is American School of Needlework Cross Stitch Sentiments. And yeah, just the simplest stuff, but very, very pretty. Very pretty. All right, cross stitch special days. This is another one. Very cute. Very pretty. A lot of simple designs, which are nice. Hmm. I like that one. A little too sheep. Happy birthday to you. Anyway, now this one. Yeah, this th there there are several that I was just like, oh, 
And this is one of them. This is American School of Needlework Cross Stitch Stitching for Quilt Lovers. Really? Yeah. So. Yep. You know me and my quilts. Love that one. This is another one. There are several from uh, this company, pr the Praying Hands Collection. And this is, this is absolutely stunning. Big, thick book. Um, 37 designs in this book. But this one right here on the cover. Love. This one here. All verses relating to angels. And you have uh, Da Vinci's angel there. The prayer of Jabez. So not just the verses and the stories. There's the legend of the dogwood tree. Uh, but just beautiful scenery and... So yeah, there's Legend of the Dogwood Tree, there's Footprints, but just beautiful imagery. These are all very nice. The bees. The silhouette. A little tea service there. Just pretty, pretty, pretty. I like this one, the, the swans. And they're just very sweet. There's bookmarks in here. But yeah, love this one. This is another uh, Praying Hands booklet, Words to Cherish. Now this is really neat. This has 20 of them. Very simple designs, but just sweet. So we have the center word, say we have love right there. But everything around it, God is love, love the Lord, love never fails, love your neighbor. So all of that together, all these words outside go with the center word. And then you have kindness. Express kindness, consider kindness, all of that. And there's one that says hope, there's patience, wisdom. Pray. Family. But yeah, I, I can definitely see stitching all of these. And I think they would stitch up really, really quick. Thinking variegated flosses for the large words and then DMC for everything else. I think they'd stitch up fast. All right, this is one from the Needlecraft shop and there are three mini love samplers. Just three little bitty, little bitty samplers. Pretty, pretty. This is another cross stitch country bouquets. Um, Amer American School of Needlework, yeah. Love this one in the picture on the blanket. Look at the mason jar with the pansies. Sunflowers. Like that one in the watering can. Very pretty. So these are um, the Bar Barbara bats that I was talking about earlier. Um, there's a couple, and these these are so they're funny because they kind of remind me of mirrors with the dresses, and they're enormous. This is one chart, and it unfolds, so I can see show you this part. See, so it's very easy to read, but just stunning. This is Angel of Fantasy. There are three more in that series. But I just love all the colors, and she has such a lovely face. See, there's the rest in the series. But And then here's another series from the angels, and we have the Russian angel. Again, just absolutely stunning. And there's the rest in that series. So, But those are very pretty. This is one of the Omni books from Jeanette Cruz. Omni books are just filled with 
dozens of dozens of good charts. So this is the Omni Book of Inspiration. Yeah, just some really I love this here, all creatures great and small. Wouldn't stitch it as a blanket, but so very pretty. These are by Ursula Michael, Snow Much Fun. 13 Snow Folk Designs. I love her snowmen. Those two on the towels. A lot of stockings in here. I don't do stockings, but I like the other charts. Here's a Needlecraft bookmark set. And these are fun. The only one I'm going to be stitching, though, is this one right here. Don't bother me. I'm reading. The rest of them are very cute, but once I stitch that, this will be a past the stash. So very cute bookmarks. This is from American School of Needlework. We have 50 fantasy chairs. These are so cute. Not all of them. I wouldn't stitch them all, but oh my goodness, look at that. They are too cute. I like the specialty ones, like the butterfly one. There's a baseball one. The beehive. There's a violin one. The house. I like that one. The ones I really like are here on the back. There's some flower ones, but look at all those. The fish. The cloud. I love the cloud chair. The fruit chairs. The cactus chair. There's bacon. So, really, really neat. Here are some more angels. or Well, they are angels and they're snowmen. This are Ange Ange angelic snowmen. I can read. So, yep. Just lots of super cute, super sweet snowmen angels. Aren't they so cute? Too cute. Okay, this is American School of Needlework, Cross Stitch Angels. Now, I don't, I don't care for this one. She's pretty, but I don't, I just, there's something I don't like about her. So personally, I wouldn't stitch the one on the cover. But I do like this one here. And these. And these little ones here. So, I don't like the lady on the front, but I like the other ones. This is one of the Great Big Graphs charts, Stained Glass Angels. Two, two charts, both stained glass. And you know I love stained glass. So pretty. Here's another Sue Dreamer baby book. So super cute designs. American School of Needlework, The Ultimate Book of Roses. There's lots of lovely designs in this one. Just looking for a colored picture. There was one. Yeah, I love the that one right there. And I like the, the long, tall ones there. The rose in the bud vase there. So, just beautiful. And this one right here. A rose is a rose is a rose. I like that one. All right, these are Dale Burdett's. These, these are so cute. These are Believe, I Believe. They're bears who are dressed up as bees. Home is where your honey is. 
adore that. That is too adorable. Then we have time for tea. What does that say? Ain't Miss B Haven. Slow me down, Lord. Right? Bewitched. Just so cute. I'm busy, busy, busy. The cat that's a has the bee stripes. Just adorable. And then this is the second one in the series. This is really cool because it's the Believe Alpha Bear book. Okay, it's the it's the bears dressed as bees. But it's really neat because although it is the bear is a bee with the letters, it's charted as well inside, or you could stitch it either way. You could stitch it with the letters. Or you could stitch just the designs without them. So, very nicely set up. All right, this is True Colors, Butterflies, and Flowers. Just simply beautiful. I love the bright colors on the lighter background of the flowers. All right, this is a Bibs for Baby book by Great Big Graphs, but again, these are just fun to stitch by themselves. The only one I would personally stitch, okay, this is another, as soon as I stitch the one, it's going to be past the stash, is right here. I'd rather be eating ice cream. I think that would be a cute round finish in the kitchen. Now, these are the Care Bears I remember. These are... This is Care Bears Friends in Cross Stitch. So these are the ones I remember. You have Share Bear and Love a Lot Bear and Wish Bear. I like that one. Follow your star. And we have Petal Perfect. There's Pretty Posy. I like just the bear with the sunglasses. And then I think that one's kind of cool because you get little stickers and you can put a person's name there. This one I'm intrigued to try. It is a it is a cross stitch Care Bear book, but they actually give you directions inside to stitch the outlines and fill it in with paint. Just watercolor paint. So that just sounds intriguing. I think I'd like to try that. This is an imaginating book. Um, designs by Diane Arthurs from the button box. All of these charts have buttons included with the chart. Not included, they're included, but they're part of the chart. So you can see all the little animals. All the flower centers are buttons. Seeds on the watermelon are buttons. All of the flower centers are buttons. This is a country arc from Dimensions. Love that Noah's Ark with the country animals. This is by Sue Hillis. It's First Steps. It's baby shoes. It's so sweet. Here's an American School of Needlework Cross Stitch Pansies. Whole book of just pansies. Very pretty. This one is a American School of Needlework Creative Cards. Little cross stitch cards, but again, I like them just as the smalls. So I like the four trees. I like the simple designs. Here's a Donna Cooler Designs Bears in Cross Stitch. We have some pandas there. I like that. Every mother is a working mother. So much chocolate, so little time. Here's me. I don't do mornings without coffee. 
I have all the little Christmas bears. I thought this was really cool. This is an American School of Needlework Basic Guide to Band Samplers. thought this was really neat. has really good directions on specialty stitches. And see, I like these right here, just stitched in the variegated threads. This is another American School of Needlework. A year of flowers, a gift for every month. So all it is, it's the flower, it's the flowers, and it has the month and what the flower is. And then you fill in whatever you want in the middle. You can fill in different sentiments. You can fill in... Here's a year of baby welcome. Same thing. It does not have to be a baby book. Because, again, it's just the borders. And then space for you to fill in whatever information you want. Here are fancy borders from... The needle craft shop. I love the jumping sheep. And again, I would do this more as a bookmark. Just as a bookmark. There's kites, butterflies, just some really sweet borders. Here's the needle craft shop comical cats. Adorable. I love the chef cat. The cat, he has a fish for a necktie. The fishing cat. Too cute. Here's another needle craft shop. These are pretty little ladies. Pretty designs. I like this one right here. She's the one I think I'm going to stitch. This is a Celtic column from the Vickery collection, Mike Vickery. I wish I knew what it said. It's pretty. Here is, it's a, it's a Care Bears Baby Sweet Things book. But again, I love Bedtime Bear. Just stitch Bedtime Bear just like that. And Friendship Bear. There's a sunshine bear in here. So yeah, I think I would just, instead of doing bibs or anything like that, just stitch the bears. Love this. This is Amish Four Seasons in quilts. But yeah, I love how the quilt is the backdrop. And then you have your different seasons. So, love that. Here's another one right at my alley. Cross Stitch Crazy About Quilts. It's just quilt designs. Love this one right here. Blessed are the peacemakers. I have a couple of these silhouettes in a different book. These, I've always wanted to try these. Um, they're the folded star ornaments that you don't sew them. They're just folds of fabric that you pin to styrofoam. But this is actually a cross stitch book. So you can put a cross stitch center in each of them. I've always wanted to try these. And the designs are pretty. Designs are very pretty just by themselves. But yeah, I definitely think I'm going to try that. Here's a needle craft shop, Bunnies on the Go. I like the sledding bunny. And the bunny in the car, just cruising. This, this was a, this was a treasure. Because I've seen these before. 
These are Beloved Bible Story Samplers. It's a praying hands book. But I recognized the designer as soon as I picked it up. They're Diane Williams charts. Just, I, I must stitch them all. We have Psalm 23. We have the Ten Commandments. We have Creation. Uh, Noah. Jonah. Um, Joseph, coat of many colors. I'm trying to read backwards. There's the rest of them. There's a Daniel in the lion's den. I can't. Oh, there it is. Okay. There's Daniel in the lion's den. And Jonah, which we saw. Joshua 24. Adore these. Absolutely adore these. Now here's another Bible story, friends. This one's from Homestead Designs. And I like these too. Brighter colors. But I think these are fun. Mostly the same stories, but a couple of different ones. There's the Samson and Delilah. That's a different one. David and Goliath. So. Here's another one. This is kind of neat. This is a little different. I, I've seen cross-stitch photo frames before, but this one, there's no cutting involved. The, the charts are just the just the borders and you leave the fabric blank in the center and simply attach a photo to it that I can get behind I can do that which is super fun all right this is a Pegasus publication these are popular dogs volume one beagle boxer bulldog dachshund Oh, black and tan dachshund, red dachshund, German shepherd, miniature schnauzer, golden retriever, rottweiler, and pug. And then we have popular dogs volume four. St. Bernard, Labrador trio, basset hound, the red and white corgi, the tricolor corgi, collie, Brittany, Newfoundland, Cairn Terrier. So... Pretty, pretty. These are adorable. It's one, uh, Leisure Arts 101 Bears with Personality. And these are just precious. You have... there. Look at that. It's a cross-stitcher bear. Yeah, saw that one yesterday. There's a shopper bear. But yeah, just all kinds. Different professions... We have different holidays. There's Halloween, sports. There's some international bears in here. And there you have, let's see, there's Valentine's Day, Christmas. Oh, that's a birthday. Christmas. There's chef bears. I like the bowler bear. Well, he's not on this one, is he? He's in the book. But... Yeah, all different holidays. Oh, there we go. Here, there's more. There's a that. There's a quilter bear. I love the quilter bear. The pilgrims. Look at the pilgrims. Love the bear in the tub. There's the international bears. The scarecrow. Raggedy Ann and Andy. The snowman. All the armed services. There's the bowler. So, super sweet. Another alphabet book. Alphabets galore. I love the quilting, quilted alphabet there. May or may not have this book. I'm not sure. I have to double check on that. 
Here's Sweet Baby Memories. And it's all, not all, but most of it is, is um, birth samplers. But I love this one right here on the front. So Hope, I have Hope's handprints when she was little with just the paper poem and her handprints. But I love this right here with little handprints that you stamp. All right, this is whoops, Linda Calhoun's Heirloom Sampler Favorites. There are 14 of them. Just very simple, very, very pretty. Here are some cute for Christmas designs. Lots of itty bitty little Christmas smalls. Next year's my year of starts in smalls. Well, mostly smalls. I'm sure some large ones will. I know I know some large ones are getting added, but but yeah. A lot of these are going to be cropping up. Now this is one of those books, Merry Christmas in waste canvas. I don't do waste canvas, but I like the designs. So I like that. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. You can see just stitching that on some blue fabric. So I like just the designs. Same here. This is a designs for little people clothing. I wouldn't stitch it on clothing. But there are some designs in there that are just cute. Alright, this is Leisure Arts, When Angels Pray. Have some super sweet country angels. Here are 50 garden minis inspired by scripture. Lots of minis. Here's a Gloria and Pat bear book, but not Cherished Teddies, which surprised me because all of the Gloria and Pat books I have that are bears are Cherished Teddies. Here's a butterfly garden alphabet. These are so pretty because each one is just filled with flowers and butterflies. Now this is a past the stash chart for sure. Sue Hillis. When a baby is born, so is a grandmother. Well, I may have grandchildren one day. But hopefully not for at least 10 years, hopefully. Um, there were some books in here. This is a decorative cross-stitch border. So just filled with, I'm not sure I can show you. Yeah, just filled with borders. But even that, you know, easy to take a, one of them out of the chart, two of them, and make smaller a smaller design. All right. This one, it's a uh, crochet book, but it's filled with the designs where you can cross stitch over the crochet. We have Angels Remembered.
just has some beautiful, beautiful angel charts in it. There's a few small ones. So, America's Best Cross Stitch from Better Homes and Gardens. These books are dated, but nothing, no reason you can't stitch what's in them in more current colors. And you never know, you might like one or two items out of here. So, I like the little ornaments there. If you may do actual flip throughs through any of these books, um, let me know. I can do a separate, separate flip through video, but, but yeah, lots of goodies in there. Okay. The rest of these that were in the box are magazines. Uh, I'm not going to show you everything. I'll just show you a couple of, a couple of charts out of each one that caught my eye. Um, this is for the love of cross stitch. Looking for a year. Not finding a year. Uh, do you have a year at all? No. No. Uh, no, it just says leisure arts. Oh, okay. Sorry. Anyway, but it has the virtuous woman sampler on it, in it. Um, it's on the cover, but I have this as a chart, but that is, that's the cover. So sometimes that helps when I'm looking for a back issue and I don't know the number, I look at the cover. So those are Virtuous Woman, and then I also love this lady right here, Silhouette. Right, this is crazy for cross stitch June July 2000 there's the cover I love this Santa's workshop chart there's some butterflies Rejoice in all that you put your hand into. So, those are my two favorites out of here. This is cross stitch and needlework. February of 98. There's the cover, and I love that right there. I can see that done up in pretty variegated threads. Let's see. What else do they have in here? There's a Four Seasons Sampler. This, I love this doll sampler. And then there's some shoes. So those are my favorite out of there. This is cross stitch and needlework, December of 1996. There's the cover. Bouncing around. Take out some of these blowing cards. I can't flip through the pages. There are some ornaments. I love this one here. Little fat reindeer with all of his reindeer buddy names around him. Well, 
this one's just going to fight me. I'm flipping pages. This one's just going to fight me. So. There are a couple of mostly smalls in this one that I like. All right, we have cross stitch and needlework, August of 1996. What a cut work in these. I love this, the antique needlework tools. ribbon embroidery. This is very pretty. The berry sampler. I love it. it has a lot of beads in it. A lot of the berries are actually beads. We have cross stitch and needlework October 1998. I love that on the cover. Best witches. Matched perfection. I love this right here with the cats. And there's all the little Halloween motifs. We have Leisure Arts from Oh, yeah, this is another one that just, I don't know the year. I love this little Wally Poly Santa. He's so cute. And I love the coffee here. Here's to good friends. This is Classic Cross Stitch and Needle Arts, June, July, 1990. My theory on these, if you can find one or two, especially when they're, they're a bargain, buy. If you can find one or two designs in the magazine that you want to stitch. I still have not gotten brave enough to take out the charts that I want to stitch. Just the one or two or three that I want to stitch in a magazine. I haven't gotten brave enough to try that. Okay, this is a squirrel bookmark. I love that. That is just too cute. And this here. I wouldn't do it as a blanket, so I'm trying to figure out the best way to put it on fabric. I'm thinking like, you know, do, 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 lines around. Because it's ants stealing all the picnic food. And it has the chart for all these different ants with different foods. And then just fill in ants. So, way cute. How fun would that be? All right, we have Cross Stitch and Country Crafts, January, February of 1986. Yes, I do laugh at some of these as I'm going through them going, oh my. But, but on the other hand, I generally find, because th this is what I like to stitch. So generally I find a couple of things in each magazine that I like, no matter the age. I like this bell pull here. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth. But each, each one is a little square with a verse. So, I love that. And this. I have to stitch this. She's just beautiful. I love all the all the shading. You're gonna come in there, Miss Marshmallow. You come say hi. Guess not. All right. This is the Cross Stitcher, October 1996. Uh, hi. 
How are you? Good. Yeah, come in and say hi. Hi. On the camera. Did you have a good nap? TV. You watching TV right now? Yeah. That's good. I like that little Halloween sampler. Can you come in the bedroom? Yeah. Yeah. You want me to come out to the living room with you? No. No? Or the bedroom. Oh, you want to come in the bedroom here with me? Mm -hmm. I love this one right here. I love to cross stitch. What is it? I'm talking to my floss tube people and showing off some magazines that I got. Oh, that's cool. It is. My mom. My Alex. All right, think you can manage to wake it through five more magazines? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, I have a warning. My battery, Your battery is dying. So, battery's dying, kids up. But a couple more magazines here. So this is cross-country stitching. You know I love these. Actually, one I don't have. August 1996. You like stitch. I do. I do like to stitch, don't I? Dare to look. Dare Free. I like that one with the watermelon. It's a watermelon. Yeah, that's it's a watermelon. And here's another Noah's Ark. You coming up? Mm -hmm. You need help? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you can help a little bit. There we are. There's my monkey. She got her cut. Her collarbone's all better. All healed. So, Mom. my Alex. Here we have Cross Stitch and Needlework, June 1998. Don't check your thumb. Are you making faces? <laughs> ah, child of mine. <laughs> you are a goof. You are a goof. Can I look at the um, cross stitch? Yeah, you're looking at the cross stitch. That's right. They're looking at all the cross stitch. Where? Oh, there's the see. alley. Mm -hmm. Harder to flip through when there's a small person in my lap. I do like this tea room, though. <laughs> Can I look at that? Sure. Oh. Yeah, you can look at the magazine. Okay. Got it? Yeah. All right. Here's the cross stitcher, uh, December 1996. And I think I have this one, but I have to double check. So it'll be a past the stash if I, if I do. This one I have to double check. Um, if you climb on me. Stop. I want to do a hi. Okay. Are you are you saying hi? Are you showing off the magazine? Uh huh. Yeah. I love the Ohio Buckeye moth. And this has one of Joan Elliott's angels in it. They want to near my nerves. Yeah, I don't think there's any needle minders in there. Where, where what? are where are they? Yeah, that one just has cross stitch charts in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't find the angel, but that one has a Joan Elliott angel. Bear. In it. Yeah, he's showing off the bear. But this is cross stitcher February of ninety seven, and this angel on the front, angel, can the love look? angel. Yes, you can look. But that is one that I want to stitch. And the Earth the Earth Angel is in the other one. That's the only one you're going to see on this magazine is this cover one. All right, last one. We have Leisure Arts. And I love the Noah's Ark sampler on the front. 
And bright, bright dolls? colors. Yes, they see. That's right. You see the dolls. Yeah, they're dolls. All right. So that was one box I got from eBay, and like I said, all of that for thirty-seven dollars. And this. And that. Yep. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. I hope you saw some goodies. Made a list, and uh, I will talk to you later with another video. You want to say bye? Bye. Say bye. Sorry.